everybody, it's week two, day two, and it's Tuesday of our Raw Rehab experiment. And I just want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules to come and watch my daily videos. Um, it really, it really inspires me to, to read your comments and what you have to say. And I just wanted to say to every single one of you that are watching this video, if you are uh, kind of timid to leave a comment, Please, tr please try to overcome that because you never know if your comment is going to be that one missing piece in someone's health puzzle that they've been looking for. So, I mean, nothing you say is going to be stupid. Nothing you say, I mean, you know, we're all here and we're here for one reason, and that is to gain better health. We're going for optimum personal health. And so over the next several days, we're going to be talking about different things that really help you achieve that goal of attaining your personal optimum health. And so today, we're going to talk about colon cleansing and good intestinal health. And for any of you who have known me or followed me for any length of time, you know that I am a big advocate of colon hydrotherapy. Um, if you can't afford colon hydrotherapy, I think that doing in-home enemas is a really helpful tool that you can use along your weight loss journey. I actually think that if you've consumed this typical American diet for the bulk of your childhood and adult life, I mean, there is no question in my mind that you would elevate your spirit, your physical body, your mental capacity, and everything if you free your system up because if you're carrying around a lot of dried, old, caked on nastiness inside your intestinal and digestive tract and in your large intestine, you cannot be achieving optimum health. There's just no way. And so the great thing about eating more raw food, and not all raw food, but specifically fruits and vegetables and the juices of fresh fruits and vegetables, that is the key to getting your system into alignment. Greens are fantastic because they, most all greens are very high in magnesium. And most of us with a weight problem or any kind of health issues are painfully deficient in the mineral of magnesium. And so eating that diet where it's rich, water rich, mineral and vitamin rich, full of amino acids and full of water is the best thing that you can put into your body because all of those things working together is going to help you with your elimination. And before I went raw, years before I went raw, I found colon hydrotherapy to be a, an immense help to me with my condition, my past condition of irritable bowel syndrome. And so I would periodically do colon cleansing just when I would get into a crisis. Maybe I wouldn't have gone to the bathroom for a week. And um, so it is was very, very helpful to me. And then when I added the raw food diet in with that, you know, I mean, I've just done so well with it. So I'm certainly not here advocating that everybody goes out and spends the money on colon hydrotherapy. Um, you know your body better than anybody else. And I've had a lot of people tell me, well, I, I poop every day. You know, I poop every day. Well, I'm just going to tell you, here is what you're looking for, okay? You're looking for about 18 inches of bowel movement every day. Now, I know I'm getting, I'm really getting um, serious and personal here. But that's what you're looking for. And preferably, your waste should float in the toilet. It should be floating. It should not be big, hard, nasty, floating, clunk, you know, mm -mm, that's not, that means you're not getting enough fiber, and that probably means you've got some old impaction in there. Um, so the other thing that happens is when your bowels aren't moving properly, like if you're not eating a meal and then maybe an hour or two later having a bowel movement, you're not as regular. I mean, you know, our bodies are meant to eat a meal, dump a meal. That's just how we're meant. I mean, I would imagine that most of you don't do that. Um, I don't do that. I've never done that in my whole life. I still am working on getting my digestive tract less sluggish. And when I go back and do what I've done over the last five or six months, and I eat cooked food, it just bogs me down, period. So anyway, if you've got old matter in your intestines, even if you're going every day, I mean, you still have stuff on the walls, what happens is, is your intestinal walls begin to reabsorb that through the walls, 
And what happens is your body's trying to refilter that stuff back through, and your blood gets toxic. And for those of you who have time, go and Google autotoxicity because there's a list of symptoms on there. If you are suffering from any of those symptoms, then you really need to think about getting some colon hydrotherapy or in-home enemas going. Um, and I don't have to tell you any more details. Everybody lives in a different place, and, you, you know, ask around. You know, look in your yellow pages. You probably have a colon hydrotherapist near you, and if you don't, you probably have a medical supply near you that's open to the public, a lot of really high-end, nice drug stores, usually that are affiliated with a hospital or a medical center. You can go in and buy an enema bag that has a long cord, and you can just fill that bag yourself at home in the privacy of your own home and get some colon cleansing done. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you have on it. Um, I'm not a colon hydrotherapist, but I'm, I mean, my colon hydrotherapist feels comfortable telling people to call me if they have a question if she's too busy. So, I mean, I do have quite a bit of information, and if I don't have the answer, I know someone who will have the answer. So, um, feel free to answer questions or ask questions. Also, feel free to tell us all about your experiences. If you've done any kind of colon cleansing, if you've had good or bad results, we would love to hear it because just because I'm saying something it does not mean that that is the gospel. I'm just sharing with you what's worked for me and what I know has worked for many others. But I'm certainly open to everybody's ideas here, and I think that that really helps us educate each other. So, again, thank you so much for being here. I look forward to coming back tomorrow. Um, I'll, I will definitely have another topic of, about something that you can do to help yourself achieve your optimum health. So everybody have a great Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.